Well, welcome back to Dog on RVing. As you can tell right away, I've changed things up. I've changed the music. I've changed the intro to my videos. And I did that for two reasons. I'm always trying to improve my channel, trying to make it more of what I want it to be, and trying to show both the new viewers and the past viewers exactly what my video channel is about. I hope with all the uh, photos in my two minute musical interlude that I've posted, uh, we'll give you a very clear idea of the things we enjoy doing, seeing, exploring on our uh, trips in our little compact RV. And that alone should give everyone a very clear picture of what we plan to do, what we enjoy doing, and what we shall do in the future. So you'll have a good idea of whether you want to subscribe, and not only subscribe, but more importantly, follow us on our journeys and watch all the videos that we produce and publish. And even more important, take the time to sit down at your computer or smartphone and leave a comment, you know. Uh-oh, the girls have approached. What's up, girls? Hmm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, to those few that actually comment on my videos, thank you very much. Your comments are very much appreciated. It lets me know that there's actually humans out there viewing my videos that have the ability to uh, leave comments and communicate with me. So, uh, at least I know I have possibly five humans out there watching my videos and not robots. So, besides that, those changes there that I've made to my uh, introduction and also, as you will see, my, uh, <laughs> yeah, Sarah, my, uh, exit at the end of the videos. I've been uh, cleaning house. Everybody that owns a house, no matter what size, shape, kind, age, uh, there's always housework to do. You never run out of housework, especially with two dogs and a reasonably large backyard. I got this place because the backyard was deeper than six feet. And uh, the dogs love it. I couldn't have dogs if I had a six foot backyard. It would be cruel and inhumane. But they, uh, especially during the fall and winter months up here where it's dreary, damp, gray, rainy, they uh, can't help but bring in everything outside to the inside. <clears throat> and when I clean my house, it takes me uh, a good part of the day. You know, and that's vacuuming, dusting, mopping the floors. Uh, and for the, say, six hours, eight hours after that, it looks really nice. But by that time, the next day, it's like I never touched it. But at least it looks really nice for a few hours after I finally get it done and I keep the dogs outside. So, what else am I doing? Um, working with my dogs, keeping the girls' obedience training up, and uh, not getting slack at home, because that's kind of easy to do sometimes. Um, so we're working on that. They uh, both need a bath here soon. I gotta groom them, dremel their nails, and especially with two dogs, doing that yourself saves you about 200 bucks at PetSmart or other places. So uh, that's 200 bucks or whatever I could spend on food for me or the dogs or gas money to uh, go someplace other than the house. And what else are we doing? Oh yeah, I'm trying to work on a weekly schedule where I uh, can get into a routine where I uh, will take time every day or every other day and exercise for 45 minutes or an hour to uh, 
get in shape or better shape than I am now. And also, yes, what are you looking at, Sarah? The uh, I have a treadmill, and both Sarah and I use it. Sarah's right there watching me on it, and as soon as I get off, she's on it before I even switch gears. Kate, Kate's not taken to it yet, and uh, it's been a struggle with her. She's got a totally different personality than Sarah, so they're like two different siblings. They are... Uh, Two different personalities, you got to treat them differently, train them differently, and uh, understand them, being two different breeds, and very in tuned with their own instincts. <clears throat> Another thing I'm working on is, uh, oh, hi, Sarah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, is I'm uh, <clears throat> working on learning Japanese. I've been to Japan once when I was in the... Uh, submarine service, climbed Mount Fuji, toured the country in a nearby area, and just loved it, fell in love with Japan. And I've been always wanting to go back. And so I'm planning, hopefully, to go back in three years. And by the time I go back, I want to be able to speak uh, coherent Japanese and also be able to write and understand kanji. So I've got books and programs on that that I've been working on. There's many free programs that are very good that you can get on your computer or on your smartphone. Plus, I've got a, a CD disc called an Immersion, which is pretty good. I like it. And so I'm practicing my Japanese. And uh, I look forward to learning it as best as I can in the next two, three years. So when I go to Japan for my uh, solo month-long tour through the country, I can converse with the uh, Japanese in their own language, read their signs, and uh, feel quite at home in their country as a uh, visitor. So let me see, what else are we doing, girls? Um, what are you doing, Kate? You want to come up here and say hi? Sarah was up here. Oh, okay, just going to stay down here. Um, what are you guys doing? Anything exciting? No? Nope. They uh, haven't done much. They've enjoyed being home. But I think they're getting bored because uh, we're not going anywhere. They're not seeing new sights, new critters. So, uh, and all the birds, because of the weather we're having, the birds have left. It like disappeared. I put out bird food and stuff like that. And it, it's attracted some of the uh, hummingbirds, but all the other different birds we've had, I've seen very few of them this season for some reason since we've been back. We do have a large family of squirrels out there, and they'll come down and eat out of the bird feeders and run back up in the trees when Sarah sees them, and they'll just sit up there and laugh at her. It drives her nuts. I swear if that dog could climb trees, she'd be up there at him. Um, oh, my uh, graphic logo that my son and I came up with. Uh, that's what you first see in my new opening. That's only the first draft. We're working on the final draft, which will be much, much better than that. That was just a rough sketch he first came up with. But we're uh, flushing that out into a really, really good graphic logo. And my plan for that is once it's done to my satisfaction, and I'm going to uh, get it printed out. And just like all the other YouTubers that are out there that have their own channel that uh, create their own logos and sell their stickers to help uh, support their channel. I'm going to do the same. So when I get my logos completed and printed, I'm going to advertise them on my channel. Uh, for those that are kind enough to order them to help support my channel, and as a thank you, I'm going to add a little special extra to each sticker order. Now, I'm not going to say what it is, but I'll tell you that it's something that you will enjoy when you get it. 
you'll want to hold on to it, keep it, and show it to others. And it's something that, to my knowledge, after watching videos of all kinds of YouTubers, nobody out there is doing at all. So this will be a specific special edition that I will do for my channel only and those that purchase my graphic logo stickers. So that said, I'm going to shut it off here. The dogs want me to go out and play. Uh, I went outside, played with them and realized, oh my God, you know, the weekend's almost here. I got to get my garbage out before they pass me by on that. And uh, so I got those things I better do after I say goodbye to you guys. So thanks again for tuning in and uh, take care of yourselves out there. Don't let the uh, virus bite you. So take care of yourselves, stay healthy, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.